For pretty much any show I do, be it the old technology evangelist shows, the new space vidcast shows, or whatever I'm doing, I almost always use an external audio mixer. I tried to do it inside the computer quite a while ago, and you know, it's, it's just too painful. It's not worth the hassle, and frankly, you can find a pretty decent audio mixer for about $100 at B&H Photo or even at Guitar Center. Just walk on down, grab one for 50 to 100 bucks, and it makes your life a heck of a lot easier. Now, it's not free, but at least it works. So what you're going to need is you're going to need that audio mixer, and chances are it's going to have quarter-inch jacks, and those, those are going to look like this. They're slightly bigger than what you'd expect for like an iPhone or whatnot. And uh, you're going to want to come out of your computer using an eighth inch jack, which looks like this. So not only are you going to need that audio board, but you're going to need an adapter cable, which is an eighth inch to quarter inch stereo adapter cable to go out of your computer into your soundboard. So you'll need two of these. What you'll do is you'll take the first one from your headphone output. This end goes into your Mac uh, Macintosh headphone output. This end goes into your audio input on your mixer. Red is le uh, right channel, excuse me, and then white or black would be your left channel. So you plug those in, and then you're going to get the second one of these, and you're going to take the audio input. So this goes to the input on your Macintosh, and this goes to the main output on your audio board. Again, red being the right channel, white or black being the left channel. Once you've done this, you've kind of got a round robin loop of audio. So now what will happen is if Camp Twist is set to broadcast out as default output, so we'll go into Camp Twist here and we'll set our preferences. Instead of using Soundflyer like what we looked at before, we're going to say I want to use the built in line output. Not the built in output, not the system default, but the built in line output. That will guarantee that it's going through this jack on the back of the computer, on the side of a computer from the Mac Pro. And now it's going to go into your audio board. Now, every audio board is a little bit different. I like to use Mackie boards because they're inexpensive and they work fairly well, but you know, each board's a little different. Make sure you bring up your master volume and then the volume on that pot. And that's going to start allowing the audio from your computer to go out to your live web stream. Inside of Ustream or Justin TV or whatever that may be, you're going to select the line input from your system. It's actually going to say built in line input as your audio input. But that doesn't get you your microphone. That's where the mixer comes in. You're also going to want to use an external microphone. If you've already got one, that's great. Usually, a f you can get a decent microphone for, again, 50 to 100 bucks. The microphones I use, because video is 80% audio, so I spend a lot of money on mics. You know, I've got a $1,000 microphone that I'm using here. Uh, I, there, you can spend as much money as you want on microphones. But, you know, a, an SM58 is a really great microphone that's just used. It's made by Shure. It's used everywhere. It's not too terribly expensive. News reporters use it. They use it in theater. It's, I don't want to call it indestructible, but it is a rugged, good-sounding microphone. That's, that's a good mic to get. Otherwise, just go to, go to your local guitar center or audio store if you don't want to do the guitar center thing and, and find a microphone that you think sounds good. Or just grab one that has either quarter inch or XLR inputs. XLR is kind of that three prong thing. That's what most audio boards will have. Once you have that, now using your audio board, you take the channel that your microphone's plugged into, you turn that up. You take the channel that your uh, computer's plugged into, you turn that up, and now you can mix the sound from your microphone and from your computer at the same time all in your live web stream. And that's all you have to do to get your audio board working.